about the building. So stick with me on this one because it feels like it's not important. It's a conversation entirely outside of 3D, um, but it is one of those very small topics that is crucial to realism. Um, obviously, when it comes to looking at a building, a building can be divided into two main things, the structure, the built environment, um, that's all the walls, the concrete, everything that is man-made, and then the detail. What helps with the detail um, and the structure is to treat those two as two separate projects almost. Focus on the building and get, getting the building done, and then once the building is done, done, then do the detailing as an entirely different project. Um, now, with regards to the detail, detail is often concentrated around the roof and around the ground level. And then to a limited extent um, in on the wall in the middle. But your highest concentration of detail is the roof and the ground level. And often when buildings do not live up to believability in my mind is when I see, and this is probably the most common flaw that I see with a lot of 3D buildings, is that they have all the detail on the roof and none of the detail on the ground floor. So no steps to the entrance, no door, no handrails, no nothing, just the man-made structure that's quite bland and blank. Next thing, for a building to be believable, um, it has to be representative of something in the real world. And because we live in the real world, we build perceptions in our mind. Um, and our perceptions are informed by what we see. So if we see a 3D building and it doesn't conform to the perception of believability in our mind, we perceive it as not being real. And often where buildings lack is in their detail. And I think the biggest flaw um, or reason why buildings lack in their detail is because detail is added ad hoc. Um, what helps me uh, is to add detail in a per category level. Um, all buildings, almost all of them have the following categories in terms of detail, plumbing, it's water lines, electrical waste, waste removal, it's often around ground floor or shoots in the middle, um, but facing inward, mechanical like vents and shafts or aircon, anything other mechanical here. Um, and then debris such as roadwork and rubble, again, that's ground floor stuff. Um, so it's important to check all those boxes when you detail. I do that per category. I start at the top and work my way through and make sure that I connect every single of that categories to the building. And that just creates believable content. Here is a very quick example of me putting together um, a built environment uh, or a structure that's pretty bland. I did put in one or two detail assets here. Um, and then here is an example where I managed my detailing um, per category. So you can see water, you can see electrics, um, you can see mechanics um, over there and there, and uh, you can see a rubble, um, and it just helps adding categorical detail. It will give you a much more realistic look in the end. Stay tuned for the next video. It should auto play. Also, if you like this, hit the like and subscribe button.